and I'm going to share the screen. Let me quickly tell you what summary can be. Uh, ESR or BI. To go to RBI, it says base BSR meaning basic statistical return. If I click on that, it is showing a lot of years 2022, 20, 21, right? So I go to this one 2022, and then I click on this one. You see a lot of reports here. This is database on Indian economy provided by Reserve Bank of India. This is a valid data. Everything is a number. Now, I am going here. Just if you look at it, bank branch statistics. I click on it. Then it is listing so many things, region-wise number of functioning offices of commercial banks, state-wise number of functioning offices of commercial banks. I click this one. I just clicked on that. What happened? So I think, yeah, it is loading at the bottom. Let it load. The data gets loaded here. Let it load. It takes some time, OK? Because it is doing some summary. It is, it is taking time to add. A lot of data is given. In that data, if you look here, Andaman Nicobar, December 22, 75 branches were there. September 22, 74, that basically for that quarter. Andhra Pradesh, this is for commercial banks. 7,859 branches were there. And if you come down, let us see Tamil Nadu, 12,000 branches. Go to Uttar Pradesh, 18,000 branches. West Bengal, 9,000 branches. Totally across India, 161, 1.61 lakh branches are there. This is real time data. This is also like rows and columns. Region, state, December 22 quarter, September 22 quarter, June 22 quarter. These are all columns. Each row represents a set of element data elements. Finally, you have a total. This itself, for example, if you if you look at Tamil Nadu 12,634 branches, SBA branches of Mandavali, Adayar, everything is calculated. So SBA, total number of SBA branches, plus total number of City Union Bank branches, plus total number of Indian Bank branches, all put together, come over here. So summary, anywhere you go, if you go to, this is bank branch statistics, then if you go to outstanding, right, credit of scheduled banks, First thing, summary tables. Click on that. It is a summary tables. Outstanding credit of commercial banks according to the bank group. If you click on it, again, it does some total. There is a raw data, raw data meaning individual rows. Then finally, it does a summary. And then that summary is done. Public sector banks, uh, how many crores? Okay, how many thousand crores? These are all the outstanding um, credit. This much of money has to come out. Uh, this has got to be collected. So you see, every, this is like Excel sheet shown in your web page. That's it. This is the Reserve Bank of Data database. From that, we are just clicking, and then we are getting one report. And this is for September quarter. This is for June quarter. So I can just move towards the right, 
you could see all the quarters for the last uh, five years or so from so December 2017 to December 2022, five years, you get the data. Where is this data coming from? This data is stored in a database. From the database, we are pulling the data. Who will use? World Bank may use, investors may use, RBA itself is using, other ministries are using it. Based on how much money we have given as loan, how much money is yet to come, how much money has come, what is the total number of deposits, what is the total number of accounts, what is the total number of branches, everywhere these numbers are being summed up or totaled up and then we are presented the data. Let me ask you this question. Are you now clear on how much, uh, how important data is? Do you get a surprise to see this much of data in one place? This is only banking data like this. In, uh, insurance data is there. Stock market data is there. So everywhere, there is always a summary data that is coming up. Is this clear? Is this concept clear? Can you raise your hands or give a reaction? Okay, good. Now let me, I am going to introduce this one. Hope my screen is also clear, okay? My screen is visible now, okay? I'm going to the Excel sheet. This is an Excel sheet. This has got how many records? Let me just select that column. If I click on the head of the column, it says the number is, including the header row, one lakh rows. This has got one lakh rows. It is a spreadsheet that contains sales record of one lakh, one lakh sales records. Why am I bringing it here? This says, in this country, snacks type through online priority critical medium low C for critical high for high H for high M for medium L for low critical on this date this was ordered this is the order number on this date this was shipped 934 units were sold one unit is uh, this much. And what is this cost? This is the internal cost. What is the total revenue? What is the total cost? What is the total price? Right? This is given to the customer. This is how you have bought. This is the total revenue. And then uh, total cost, the cost and the price into this unit sold is this one. Total cost into this unit price is, is this is the profit. Very simple, straightforward Excel sheet. How many columns? One, two, three, four, five. And this is region, Middle East or Europe or North or Asia. A very, very simple Excel sheet, but one lakh records. What are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with this? Now what I'm going to do is, as I said, in Excel, the first thing we always look for is count. May, multiple ways you can see this count. If you click on the column, it will say what is the count. If you click on this one, okay, it will copy that count. Okay, you click on this, it will copy that. And then you can copy paste in some other place. Now, I want to know what is my total sales this is for one row this is the total revenue and this is from 2010 14 10 so lot of records are there okay lot of records are there now i go to the last line this is the total cost right this is the this is the price total cost and then uh, this is the total profit i want to know what is the total revenue that I have got. How will I do <coughs> equal to 
some some from what cell to what cell because this is column l column l2 because l1 is the header l2 to l 1000 and this is showing this much but the problem is it is showing in a fashion that i cannot understand so what i can do i can go to number and two decimal place or whatever you can choose this shows this much again if you click this comma okay it will put uh, this is 10,052 lakhs, 60 crores, uh, 3,360 crores. This is so much, one, one, almost 1 1.3 crore, right? 133, 1 1,33,60, 1,33,360, 1,33,360 crores. That much is my total revenue. So a simple command sum, will get you for whatever column number you want to get. OK? And you can also do average. How, how can I do average equal to average of, again, L1 colon. I think there is a number it already refers, okay? I don't know why it is not bringing that average. Let me try it. There is a sigma, yeah. Right? Now, sum is an easy part. But now the question is, under country, let us say Denmark, how many items are sold? What is the total number of sales? How do you do? That is more tricky. Sum is just one formula. Sum or count is just one formula. Whereas if you, if you really want to do lot of processing of the data, one simple thing in Excel is you may already know, but I want to refresh because Excel usage is inevitable for anybody, including the vice president or the CEO. They do a lot of Excel processing. You should be very, very good in Excel. Now I select the cell. I click filter on the first row. Filter is done. Now I want to say country. I select, deselect everything. I want, I take under, um, Denmark. For Denmark alone, I want to select. Now you could see this is a filter. A filter meaning there are 1 lakh rows. Out of 1 lakh rows, see here, 529 rows are having Denmark as the country. Whatever you see in Excel, you will see a one-to-one -one mapping in our database also. Okay. Now, in Denmark, how much was online sales? So this is a one column filter. Now I want to put one more filter. Within Denmark, how much was sold in online? I select only the online. This much is online. Now I want to put one more filter. Out of this Denmark, out of this online, how many belong to fruits? So now I know out of these 1 lakh sales records, 27 records satisfy a condition. Country is equal to Denmark and sales is equal to online and item type is equal to fruits. The way Excel or the spreadsheet has done is phenomenal. It is it is unbelievable ease of use. It it takes very very little time for a person to understand how to use it. Is this first cow so the the sum and uh, filter clear? 
If you want to clear all the filter, go here, clear. All the filters will be cleared. Now you are back to one, one lakh rows. Is this fundamental filter some concept clear in, uh, in Excel? If so, please raise your hands or give a reaction. This will look very, very fundamental or basic, but this is what a lot of people are doing on a daily basis. Is this clear? Can you please raise your hands? Good. Let us move to the next step. Totaling is an important aspect. Filtering is another important aspect. Third, sorting. Now, let me go back to the Excel sheet. Let me go back to the Excel sheet. I want to sort. I want to give a question to you. In country, Italy. So I first filter. In country, Italy. I want to know what is the highest bill means total revenue is the bill amount correct for that same first item is first bill is this much second bill is this much i want to know the highest bill how can i find multiple ways that you can find out right there are multiple ways you can find that. One is I go to the bottom equal to I say max. Max of L1 colon it is giving this this information 668-2700 there is that number here 668-2700 but the problem is it is very difficult for me in this whole list whether the number is correct or not so what i do i go down i first remove that rather than doing a max i go here Select the whole stuff. I select the whole stuff. I click here, sort. I say custom sort. Sort, sort by total revenue column. I say largest to smallest. The moment I say largest to smallest, it has sorted in the descending order. It has sorted everything in the descending order within this selection. Okay, not within anything. This is not in the whole sheet. Within this selection, it has sorted. Now I know since it is highest to lowest, this is the right amount. So, if at all you want to find out min and max, there are two direct commands in Excel: min and max. At the same time, you have to sort. But only thing is, if you just sort, select this column and then sort, it will sort only this column. Rest of the rows will not, uh, values will not be changed. So always when you sort in Excel, you cannot sort just that column alone. You have to select the sheet, then go do a sort. Otherwise, doing a simple sort on one column, by mistake, if you sort only this column, all these prices will go uh, awkward. Searching and sorting are the two important are most frequently used operations in Excel. Searching meaning it is not just this search, okay? It's not just this search. Control F, that I'm not meaning about that. A filter in one lakh records, I am finding all the Italy records. Within one lakh records, this is numeric based filter. Now, sorry, country is text based filter. Now I want to filter one more thing. I want to filter in all these one lakh records, show me number of units sold 
if it is more than 5000 show me only those records this is number of units sold is 934 this is 9996 so i want to have all the records that number of units sold let us say 9000 and above how do i do that you click on this filter box there is a number filter and the number filter i say greater than 9000 suppose i say that in this column i anything that is greater than 9000 display out of 1 lakh records 9000 records came right suppose i want to filter further more in this one rather than that one rather than this greater than uh, 9000 i want to say 10000 10000 and more there is nothing beyond 10000 units were not sold so at least it will show you immediately okay and i say 9500 and more now it shows 4900 records belong to that category a very very simple operation anybody without even a background of mathematics or anything can do this job all it needs is common sense one is filtering based on one column based on the text second thing is based on number third thing is now let me clear this filter the third way of filtering is i click on this i want to have only 2017 related files or records only 2017 records show me okay now i click on this it brings me 2017 but there is a problem here if you look here it is all that mm dd yy or dd mm yy whatever format there were also data like slash and it is filtering only on this one right so there will be some amount of processing also data processing also you may have to do remove all the forward slashes with dash that also you may have to do but we will see that next but first thing you can filter based on text thing text columns you can filter based on number columns you can filter based on date columns you can do a sum you click on a, a column it automatically shows count average and sum right if it is a number column it automatically shows that count as well as sum because for a text column there is nothing like a sum and average here it shows only the count whereas this is a number column when i click on the number column count is this much total is this much average is this much okay so it shows that automatically in excel is this fundamental concept clear in excel can you please raise the hands or give a reaction now all we covered is totaling counting filtering on multiple columns filter based on text number and date you might have already done that but i i i just want to refresh okay <clears throat> good good now my next exercise to you i want to give an exercise probably abirami also can develop further on that part what is that i want from you as an exercise i will give this file to you you can play around with this file i'll i'll push this into our github tonight okay what is my exercise to you you know cricket match how many of you have watched i think most of india will watch cricket in cricket match there is a series within that series there is a match okay cricket match series within that series there is a match for each match you have got players for each match you have got who won the toss for each match you have got score and then 
individual score for each match you have got overs for each match within overs balls within the balls whether there is a run scored or not for each ball what is the speed who is the bowler who is the batsman facing and which is the ball number what i want you to do as an exercise okay i want you to create an excel sheet like this let us say series number series name series number because international cricket federation would have got series number 123 series name is india australia uh, tour uh, jan 2023 or fib 2023 then maybe another series series number 178 pakistan new zealand tour uh, maybe planned for may 2023 for each series there is a number for each match there is a number because that is why they will exactly identify people i matches now let me open up one more sheet assuming that uh, this is the match number 123 for this match number 123 let us say match over over number ball number speed faced by and scored type okay now let me do this match number 147 over number 2 first ball 123 kilometers faced by um sub okay run scored zero type good in swinger okay match number 147 over number 2 ball number 2 132 kilometers per hour Rishabh, run scored one. Full length. Match number one forty seven. Over number two. Ball number three. Speed one hundred and twenty. Pace Dubai. Uh, let us say Satan. Run scored four. Full toss. What am I doing here? there is a match within that match there is an over for that within that over there are balls for each ball i am putting associated data in a spreadsheet fashion is this clear to you what i am trying to do is for uh, football match also we can do minute 1 minute 2 minute 3 ball was with whom minute 3 minute 4 ball was with whom everything you can do for every match whether it is cricket or ball badminton or badminton or tennis you can always say this is the match number this is a, either the bowler or this is a batsman or this is a shooter or this is a um, uh, person who is serving the ball in tennis or table tennis you can put data in a spreadsheet i am not going to give you any rules what i am going to do is i am asking you for cricket match this is your exercise for cricket match whatever data format that comes to your mind i am not giving any rules no rules just practice whatever data that comes to your mind in whatever order that you feel that this is how it has to be arranged i cannot say ball doesn't contain over over contains the ball for each ball there is an there is a run associated with that correct what i want is please
create a spreadsheet for a cricket match covering all the data elements as in multiple worksheets not a problem within an excel sheet you can have sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 one sheet for over one sheet for balls one sheet for uh, no balls i am fine with that but i want you to this is nothing but preparation of data sample data preparation while preparing the sample data you will get the acumen or the knack of how to group the data is the concept clear what i am asking you to do as an exercise if so please raise your hands good now what i will do is i'll stop recording